It was a cold winter's day at Buggles Kelly Station, and the Fat Tom Troller was finally doing some work on Groven's Castle. Look, can you just stop with the narration, please? It's really annoying. I'm sorry, said the narrator, but he said it to himself. Oh, for f- Hello and welcome back to Buggles Kelly Station. Um, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update um, about what's happening at Buggles Kelly Station and what to expect in 2024 um, as we're nearly a month into it. Uh, so you might have seen on social media that um, I've decided to release some new models so I'm going to show uh, a little bit about those first. And the first thing um, is, uh, I mean I did tease it over New Year's Eve, um, I'm actually decided to release my first model in N scale. So uh, 2024, um, in fact April 24, we'll see the very first model from Buggles Kelly Station in N scale. And it's this Buggles Kelly Limited wagon. Um, and you can see it's in green, the SRNI logo in the corner. Um, and if this is popular, um, then obviously I will consider re releasing some of the other wagons in N-Gage, so if you know anybody who models N-Scale, um, or if you model N-Scale yourself and you're interested, obviously please um, go to the website. Um, I'm only doing a hundred run of these uh, initially, just because it's not a scale that I've modelled before. Obviously, if they do prove popular, then I can bring some back in the future, but at the minute, um, there'll only be a hundred uh, in stock in April. So the next uh, new models for 2024 are the new Dad's Army wagons because obviously last year I released the Jack Jones uh, Butcher Wagon which was very popular so to go along with that I've released two new wagons obviously fictional liveries we've got um, the Warmington on Sea Corporation Gas Works uh, which is a, an open coal wagon again fictional livery but it's got the Warmington on Sea in the corner and the other one which you have to have alongside Jack Jones is W Hodges uh, Greengrocer. So yeah, that's dark green livery, and it's based on Hodges' van in the show as well. Um, both of these are official Dad's Army products, um, fully licensed, so you know, they'll be available uh, in April, and you can order today uh, at the website. But the engines weren't happy. They wanted to hear more about Groven's Castle. Nobody cares about Dad's army, said James. We all want to know what's happening with the layout. Yeah, I'm going to get on to the layout. You said that months ago. I said, before we did this video, you're not allowed to interrupt. I want more videos about me, it's said not Thomas. It's all about you. You're not even a proper YouTuber. The unlucky tug knows how to treat an engine with respect. And that is why I can conclusively say James is a self-centered asshole. What a prick. So, look, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, if you want that kind of stuff, there will be more of that in 2024. I've done loads of voices for people. There's lots of videos out there. They're going to, you know, come through when they come through. But I've got to concentrate on this at the minute, okay? I'm sorry. The twat controller. Seriously, fuck off. So, yeah, the layout is progressing at Craven's Castle. I've designed new buildings, which you'll see on my website. Uh, bit by bit, every time I design a new building for the layout, it goes on the website as well. Uh, so you can see the sort of progress that's coming. So last year was the first year that um, I did uh, shows uh, around the UK, uh, model railway shows, as you might have seen me popping up on different social media, obviously advertising those. And uh, I can um, let you know that I have booked in to lots of shows for 2024, which is obviously um, exciting. Um, I'm doing about two shows a month. It's going to be very busy. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's great fun. I really enjoyed it last year. So I thought I'd just give a, a quick rundown of 
where you can expect to see me because uh, I'm I'm all over the place this year, literally. Don't. Yeah, so uh, all over the UK. Um, well, I say all over the UK. I'm not going to Wales or Scotland or Northern Ireland, but uh, <laughs> not yet anyway. Um, all over England. There you go. Almost. Um, uh, yeah, so the first uh, first month will be February um, and starting going further south that uh, that I've been yet with uh, with a model show. It's down to Febex um, at Alton in Hampshire, which is the 3rd and 4th of February. Now, I'm really excited about this because obviously it's a bit further um, than we've had to go before. It's the first show we have to stay over, um, you know, that sort of distance. But um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting one. Uh, main reason for me, I'm sure it's a, a great show anyway, but it's it's just down the road from Bugleskelly. Uh, Clidderston in Hampshire is obviously where they filmed Oh Mr. Porter. And uh, this show is going to be local. We're bringing Bugleskelly back home, more or less. So yeah, it'll be nice to go down there. I went down to Clidderston a few years ago. I've been a few times. Um, 2018, we went down and unveiled the Buggles Kelly bench, which uh, Pete Waterman came and opened that up, which was amazing. Um, so I'll put some photos up, but yeah, it'll be cool to go back down there again. So if you're local to um, sort of Basingstoke area, Alton, Clidderston, Hampshire, yeah, come along 3rd or 4th of February for Febex. And then a week later, we go in the opposite direction, um, which is further north and we're going to be at the Festival of British Railway Modelling uh, at Doncaster which is a massive show so I went last year as a punter this will be the first year uh, as a trader um, and there's about 60 traders there there'll be lots of wide range of products and things uh, over 30 layouts so yeah if you like railway modelling then obviously come along to Febex and come along to Doncaster um, Festival of British Railway Modelling which is the 10th of the 11th of February. Um, so that should be really exciting. We're at stand 65. We're in a good location, sort of in the middle of it all. So yeah, come and see us there. I won't go into detail for everything that we've got going this year, but I will li just list through uh, the different shows. At the minute, these are the ones I'm booked in for. Like I say, it's about two a month. So uh, 9th and 10th of March, we're at Mount Sorrel um, in uh, Leicestershire. And that was the first show I did last year. So we've been invited back again, which is a good sign. <laughs> so that'll be a good one uh, at Mount Sorrel, yeah, near sort of near Loughborough. So yeah, a week later we're in uh, London, the London Festival of Railway Modelling, which again really exciting. I've never been to Ali Pali. Um, it's one of the big shows. Uh, we're at Stand One Nineteen, sixteenth uh, and seventeenth of March. Then into April. Uh, we are back at Statfold Barn Model Rail Exhibition, which was excellent. Uh, last year it was really good um, as a trader. The year before, probably the best model show I've ever been to as a punter. It's run by Tony and Joey. Uh, you probably know Tony from Tony's Trains. Um, it's a friend of mine. Um, it's a great show. And uh, yeah, if you, if you can get to the Midlands, um, sort of near Tamworth, I obviously put some details on my site. Statfold Bar Model Railway Exhibition, 13th, 14th of April. They've got narrow gauge railway. It's it's amazing value for the for the cost to get in. You know, there's a lot going on, so that's a really good show. And then um, end of April, 27th, 28th of April, doing for the first time um, a new show at the NEC, which people are saying will um, probably be the uh, replacement for Warley because uh, obviously Warley was cancelled as of the last show. Um, this is Model World Live at the NEC and it should be a mixture of um, railway modelling and uh, military modelling, different you know scale model uh, mediums coming together so it should be really exciting and it might be a good way to show off the dioramas and things that I do that aren't all necessarily model railway bits so yeah I'm really excited about that. That's Model World Live 2024 at the NEC in Birmingham. That's the 27th to 28th of April. Um, and after that, I'll just list these through. In May, we're at Syston Model Rail Exhibition in Leicestershire, so that's a nice local one. Um, June, Sleaford and District Exhibition, and then Milton Keynes on the 8th. Then um, also in June, we're at Nottingham Transport Heritage Centre. 
21st of July, we just booked in for the Chatham show, which um, I think is the first time that's been back for, uh, after a hiatus of a few years, so that should be really exciting. Um, and Loughborough in August. And then we'll see. Um, nothing booked after that, but, you know, things come up later in the year, so hopefully there'll be a few more into the autumn and winter as well. But yeah, that's uh, quite a full events diary. You can see it all at uh, bugleskellystation.com. Um, I don't know if you can see in the corner here. We've got a friend. Good girl. So that's um, that's all I wanted to tell you. New models, new events coming up. There'll be new things all the time, so keep an eye on the website, social media and that sort of thing. And uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, there are Thomas videos as well. At some point in the future, you'll hear my voice on someone's video because I've been recording no end of things for different people, um, which I love doing as well. So I'll be doing a few more bits myself. Um, keep following on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, more or less, uh, TikTok, uh, Twitter. Um, I can't think of anything else. It's all a link in the description anyway. Anyway, from Buggles Kelly Station, thanks for watching. And uh, enjoy the rest of January and 2024.